<laughs> you're, you're filming? How do you know that? <laughs> the red light. The red light would tip, tips me off every time. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. My name is Kristen Forgione. I am the founder, principal designer, and creative director of The Lifestyle Co. Thank you guys so much for joining us again. If you're new here, welcome to our YouTube channel. We are a full service interior design firm with two brick and mortar retail locations, an online shop that you can shop all of our furniture, decor, accessories, and women's fashion, and I'm happy to have you here. I am at my new house, the ODL house, and I'm here to talk to you about windows. This video is sponsored by my window partner, Sierra Pacific Windows. They are truly the best in the business. They are the only provider I considered for my house. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about why and give you a very quick version as to how to select windows and doors for your own house. So before I give you my tips on how to select doors and windows, I want to tell you a little bit more about Sierra Pacific. We have worked on countless projects together and I value their product and their customer service so much. I've got an action packed video ahead, but truly one of the things that means the most to me about Sierra Pacific is they are not only a window manufacturer, but they are also a window installer. So they install their own product. They also maintain their own product. And what that allows is a vertical integration so that no part of the process from the very first time you inquire with them and start building your window quote to years down the road after you've had your windows installed, you're always going to be talking to a Sierra Pacific team member. There are a lot of other window companies that um, contract out their work, whether it's window installation or it's aftercare and maintenance. Sierra Pacific does not do that. So I find it so valuable as a designer that has to provide resources to my clients, to our clients. I like knowing that I'm always talking to someone from Sierra Pacific. It also really significantly cuts down on the finger pointing. Something will go wrong. Windows are a big expense. When something goes wrong on a big expense, I want to know that I have a trusted partner there that is very well versed in both the product that they installed in my house and recourse, right? I wanna make sure that I'm talking to the right people. So Sierra Pacific allows that to happen and it has become such a value add for me. So that's why they're in my house. In addition to all of the beautiful aesthetic choices that I have with Sierra Pacific, I can select any grill pattern I want. So these here would be considered the grills. I can make it look however I want. They have a huge range in custom sizes. So if I'm not in a stock size, I can make a window or a door fit the size that I need. They also have those big pano doors, bifold doors, massive nano walls or areas that are filled with doors and pockets. So, so many options. Truly a really, really fantastic option if you're looking at new construction, ground up windows. So you can tell how important windows are to me. The first tip in establishing and selecting doors and windows is deciding how important they are to you. For me, I truly drew this floor plan around my doors and windows. As you take a look around my house, you're gonna notice that there are large windows all over the place. In almost every single room, I have what I like to call a window moment or a door moment. The reason it's so important to me is because I wanted the outside and all of the outdoor living that we're creating to come in. I want all of that natural light. As that happens outside, having windows that are big and picturesque are going to help me bring that in. My last point about deciding how important your windows are to you is I want you to do an exercise. I want you to think back into houses that you've lived in before that you maybe live in now. Do you have any idea what color your exterior windows are or the color of your interior windows or how they operate? If you don't, sorry, it's a little loud. We've actually got people working here today, which is so exciting, but back to windows. If you have no idea in thinking back about your windows, that probably means that they're not that important to you and that should help you determine your budget, right? So we're gonna go a little bit more into budget planning here shortly, but think about how your windows have affected your daily life and livability in the past and let that guide you a little bit. Next is the big, ugly, B word budget, right? It's no one's favorite topic, but is so important when it comes to doors and windows and your budget can get out of control really quickly. So where does the budget come from on windows, right? That's a great question. Budget for windows typically is anywhere between five and 10% of an overall new construction or ground up build budget. It should largely be determined by your contractor so that we know and that person knows what to factor in for an allowance when you're building those numbers. 
If you're retrofitting windows, that would typically come from, let's say your first quote or the quotes that you receive from the local window companies that you're working with to replace your windows. So you want to have some idea of what it's going to approximately cost. Like I said, we like to use between five and 10% and 10% would be considered high end and definitely kind of your custom windows. Another factor in determining your budget is going to be deciding what type of window construction you're going with. And there's kind of a hierarchy of windows and all of those win these window types I'm about to tell you have different pros and cons, right? You're going to want to do research in each type so that you know what you can afford. I think that's the other big thing. As I mentioned, windows get very expensive. So the higher end you go in the window or the more custom you need and let's say the size or the grill pattern, it's going to get more costly. So vinyl windows are going to be your most cost effective window. They are waterproof and in a lot of ways are provide a really great entry level window. After vinyl windows, you'll have a fiberglass or composite option followed then by aluminum and then wood clad. Wood clad is what I have. Sierra Pacific's wood clad product called Urban Casement is truly one of my favorites. All the windows around my home are Urban Casement wood clad windows with an aluminum exterior. And we'll get into more detail in future videos, but that's what I have and, and I love it. And I think it's truly one of Sierra's best products. And then after that is steel windows. And steel windows are gonna be your most custom, your most expensive, your most luxe window. It requires a lot of planning, a lot of architectural planning. You definitely need to know that you're getting into that window category early on in your plans because it will definitely change things for you. This is an example of a casement window. So a casement window is gonna open and it's gonna have a crank right here that actually provides the functionality for it to open. The crank isn't installed yet just because these are mid construction, but at some point it'll have a crank and that's how it will open. There are a ton of different types of windows. Double hung windows are usually found in historical homes, a lot of use on the East Coast. Single hung windows are those windows that are vertical that kind of open like this. Um, an easy Google search will help you determine how many different functionality or functioning types of windows you need. Picture windows are also windows that don't open. So those are those big, beautiful windows. I have a ton of picture windows. I actually have more non-operable picture windows in my house than I have casement or operable functioning windows. I did that by design. I'm not a huge like open window person because I prefer a door. So anywhere I could put a door that I could open, I chose that over a window that I could open. Of course, things like climate are gonna help you determine that. Aesthetic, certainly, do you like the look of a door? Are you someone who's always opening the windows? Not, not even like actually opening the windows. If you are, then you may want a, more functionality in windows that actually are operable. Something else to consider, they don't all have to match. Every single bedroom doesn't have to have the exact same footprint of window. In fact, I look for that in a floor plan. When we're reviewing client floor plans, I look for some synergy, however, some something unique in the window package. I don't typically like to see three bedrooms all with the windows placed in the exact same place, especially on a custom. If you're out there deciding on your window package, you likely will be building a custom home and you're getting that opportunity to create a different type of window. Take the bull by the horns and do it because it is really what's gonna set your home apart is your window package in looking custom versus looking like a track home where every single house has the windows in the exact same spot. I brought you outside because I wanna to talk to you about determining and understanding the architecture of your home. For me, you've just been inside my house and you've seen that the inside of my window frames is black. I did that by design because I wanted the inside to feel more high contrast, a little bit edgier and a little more modern. Outside, I went with a tan aluminum exterior because I want the house to feel balanced and subtle, timeless, classic. And I'm going for a little bit of that California cool meets organic desert living vibe out here. So you may be keeping track in your head or now asking yourself, oh my gosh, the outside of my windows don't have to match the inside of my windows. No, they don't. They do not have to. And I'm even gonna blow your mind even more. The front of your house and the color of your windows and the back of your house and the color of the windows don't have to match either. We do builds all the time where we'll have a black front elevation and maybe a white back elevation. So the back of your house has a white window, the front has black. 
You can play with that, don't go too crazy. Like I'm not suggesting turquoise in the front and red in the back, but as long as you're in a, in a palette that really lends to your architecture, play with it, take that opportunity. Windows come in a plethora of colors. They also come in textures. So Sierra Pacific has a textured product that I really like as well that gives you even a, even a little bit more edge and earthiness. So have at it, make sure that you're keeping it balanced, but ultimately the architecture and the style of your home should help you determine your window color. The last thing I'm gonna leave you with in this super quick window knowledge push is to make sure that you receive at least three quotes. You have to make the time in the beginning to get three quotes because as you're going through it, you may end up wanting to bail because they take so long. But I'm telling you, having three allows you to have a really good understanding of what windows look like in your market and in your area. And it's also gonna give you a better understanding of what you're paying for. So every window company doesn't quote windows the exact same way. As we talked about earlier, some manufacturers don't actually install their windows. So make sure that when you receive that quote, if it's a considerable amount less than other quotes, make sure you're asking those questions. What's included? Does this include installation? The other thing you need to make sure you're paying attention to is lead time. In this post or during coronavirus world, we obviously know that lead times have changed on everything. The building and construction industry, specifically windows, is a big one. We're seeing lead times anywhere from 18 to 26 weeks when it comes to windows and they're not even custom. So make sure that you are paying attention to that and you understand what you're signing up for. You may end up going with a bid that's $5,000 less, not realizing that you just bought yourself 12 extra weeks. So biggest questions to ask, what's included? Is installation included? And what are your lead times? While we didn't specifically talk about doors, exterior doors in this video, everything that I said about windows also applies to your doors. So not interior doors, so not the doors that separate your bedrooms, but typically exterior doors are also provided by your window providers. Sierra Pacific is who did our doors. So my front door, that was a custom piece that they did. They can do it for you too. I just love their product so much. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you have learned something. Thank you so much to Sierra Pacific for sponsoring the video and also for providing my beautiful windows and doors. I truly cannot even wait until they're finished and I can have you back and I can show you what a finished product looks like on Sierra Pacific's doors and windows. So make sure while you're here, you like and subscribe so you don't miss anything and I'll catch you on the next one.